Well, this is my Serie A team. Um, in 3 5 2. Serie A class, I named it. Rating 84. Chemistry 100. And you can see my players there. They're all pretty decent. They read me a lot of matches. So let's start with Buffon. 85 diving, 86 handling, 82 reflexes, 86 position. Pretty decent keeper, but sometimes I swap him for Julius Cesar. He's not as good, in my opinion, because all those stats are a bit better. He doesn't really save as much, so it's not really as good. Uh, secondly, is Lucio. Brilliant defender. 76 pace. 85 heading. Defending. 83 heading. Pretty good stats. Decent enough for a defender. Pretty much all you need. Chiellini, I think he's underrated. He's 82 pace. 86 defending. 85 heading. And he's only rated an overall 84. But he's actually much, much better than that. Samuel, the only thing that lets him down, he's a good defender, but his pace is only 65. But his defending's rock, 87, and heading, 83. Both brilliant stats. Krasic, pace, 90. Dribbling, 81. Passing, 74. Shooting, 78. Good enough stats for a right mid, I think. Vidal, a brilliant all-rounder, pace 81, passing 81, shooting 73, dribbling 79, defending 79, heading 71, really good centre defence mid. Also, De Rossi, definitely underrating on his shooting, underrated on his shooting, only 76, but in my opinion he's better than that. Heading brilliant, passing brilliant, I think he's overall good centre defensive mid. Now, and then we got Levesi now, 5 star skiller, brilliant player, can get past anyone, 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 76 shooting, 72 passing, where his shooting is actually pretty good as well. Giovinco, oh, brilliant player, brilliant player, he scored me loads of goals, gets past loads of people with 91 pace. Dribbling 89, 70 shooting, but that's massively underrated. Every shot with him has got so much power in it. It's unbelievable. I, I sometimes swap him with Robinho. Although he has better stats, sometimes he's worse. He's worse, and sometimes he brings my chemistry down too. So I keep Giovinco on. No, see there, it's 99. So I keep Giovinco on because he brings it up to 100. Di Natale. Excellent, excellent player, all-rounder, 86 pace, 85 shooting, 81 passing, dribbling 87, brilliant player, his shots are like really good. Alexandre Pato, 87 pace, 82 shooting, 85 dribbling, 80 heading, brilliant stats. Everybody, pretty much everybody likes him, you got to admit that. Can be also, I sometimes swap him for Vidal or De Rossi, but... Although he's rated at 85, he's not that great. He's not as good as De Rossi and Vidal. But his passing's good. His defending's good. His heading's good. He's good all around the two. Then we've got Mickley. Brilliant at free kicks. He's got 88 curve. 86 pace. 85 dribbling. 84 shot. 72 pass. He's actually pretty much equal to Di Natale. He's Forland shot is definitely deserving of that 88. Really powerful, can sh shoot from far with so much power. Bonucci is a good substitute for for um, Samuel or Lucio. I don't really like taking Chiellini off because he's like the really fast, so he can catch up with those fast players. Elia, he's really fast. He's only got 92 pace, but he seems like he's faster than Levesi to me. He just runs faster than him. It's just unbelievable how fast and how much people we can get past. And I think that's pretty much it. Just Maggio ran out of contract on him. And just couldn't be bothered to couldn't be bothered to put his contract on. But when I need him, I might put a contract on him. Okay, that's my Serie A team. 
please like, subscribe, um, comment. Peace, guys.